No need for the Toyota Tacoma anymore. Is the Toyota Tacoma being squeezed out? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Is there a need for the Toyota Tacoma anymore? You know, I'm starting to see articles, I'm starting to see stories pop up talking about the demise of the Toyota Tacoma. Now, I've talked about this myself as far as other trucks that are taking away from Toyota Tacoma sales. And it seems to me, I'm not alone in talking about this. I saw an article this morning talking about Toyota Tacoma sales being impacted by the small trucks, not to mention the electrics that are coming. And I think the Toyota Tacoma might indeed be being squeezed out. You know, these mini trucks, while I would say smaller trucks aren't anything new, I mean, if you go back a million years, we used to have really small trucks, about the size or even smaller than what we currently have in the mini truck market. Now, the mini truck market right now is pretty limited. You have the Ford Maverick, which is basically just your average looking truck or your normal looking truck, I should say, squished down a little bit. Then we have the Hyundai Santa Cruz. To me, a completely different animal. Is it an SUV? Not really. Is it a truck? Yeah, I call it a truck, but you could argue it maybe isn't. It's more of some kind of hybrid hybrid, if you will. It's kind of an SUV truck combination. Not an El Camino, a lot of people like to say that, the trolls out there, oh, it's an El Camino. I ask, have you ever seen an El Camino? It's not really an El Camino. Yeah, it has a bed on the back, but so does the Toyota Tacoma. Is it an El Camino? I, I don't think so. So these mini trucks are definitely taking a bite out of the Tacoma. Now, I saw another article recently talking about Toyota actually looking at making a mini truck. Now, it's interesting because I brought this up a while back. I made a video about Toyota should come out with some sort of a mini truck. Now, I'm starting to see ramblings of Toyota actually coming out with a mini truck. Question is, what would it be? Would it be like what Ford has done with the Maverick and just be a shrunken down Toyota Tacoma? I hope not. I hope they take the opportunity to kind of remold the Tacoma a little bit come up with something unique as opposed to just following what others have done, like Ford. One could argue though that why wouldn't they follow what Ford has done? You know, the Maverick is extremely popular. Gets great gas mileage, they have the hybrid, they have probably an electric coming as well. So it would make sense, I guess, if Toyota just kind of followed along right on the coattails of Ford, Financially, why take a gamble? Why not go with something that is already successful? So I think they might actually do that. We might actually see just a shrunken down Toyota Tacoma. Now, what I think would be really cool, and I've talked about this in the past, is to kind of bring back a throwback mini truck. In other words, dust off those old designs, pull up some of those smaller first generation or even just Toyota trucks, and put one of those out, obviously updated with the latest and greatest stuff. I mean, you know, you have to do that. And how difficult would it be to just take a body, in essence, that's all they would be doing if they pulled out the old ones, maybe schnazz it up a little bit. I mean, they could add a few things to it, you know, LED lights, maybe make it even a little bit more aerodynamic, stuff like that. But other than that, how much work could it possibly be? They already have the designs for it. They've been there, they've done that. You know, I gotta tell you, there's a truck and I wish I could remember the name of the person or the, the log on, the screen name that they have, but there is a blue, old Toyota Tacoma out there. And it's awesome, it's been all redone, it's lifted, got bigger wheels and tires, got a really cool shade of blue on it. I think it's got a couple of, scratch like claw marks on the hood. You may have seen this. If you're a Toyota Tacoma enthusiast, I don't know how you could miss it because it's always popping up, at least on my feeds all over the place. But I would base the new smaller Toyota Tacoma on that truck. Now, I'm not talking about putting out a mini truck that's lifted and has bigger wheels and tires and all that. That's for you and I to do after we put our hands on it. 
but they could at least go with that body design because I think it's still relevant today. That particular truck looks awesome. And I always have to stop and look at it whenever it pops up on my feed because it is just that cool. Whoever owns that, if you happen to see this video, you did an awesome job. I would love to have that truck. So I think it would be a great idea if Toyota did it. I think they're probably gonna have to do it. I think the Tacoma indeed may be being squeezed out of the market a bit. You know, there are alternatives out there and obviously every one of them is gonna take a bite out of Toyota. They don't want that to happen. After having the best mid-size selling truck for 17 years, I don't see how they can turn their back on the mid-size truck market now that it's booming. Of course, given that it's Toyota and we all know how Toyota operates, right? They kind of hang around in the back of the room, they wait for a while, they gotta make sure that whatever they do is gonna be relevant to them, I guess. And that if they take a leap, that there is gonna be a market. It's not a bad idea. I mean, you obviously don't wanna put a bunch of R&D and tooling and all that good stuff, marketing, into a new mini truck, put it out, and then two months later, you and I decide we don't like the mini truck. We want a regular midsize or a full size. Now, the big question, and what I'm gonna end on here is, why is the Toyota Tacoma being squeezed out? I think the general public doesn't really want a truck truck anymore. And that's what the Tacoma is. It's a truck truck. Looks like a truck, rides like a truck, has the power of a truck. What everybody wants, not everybody, what a majority of people want, the weekend warriors, they want something that's comfy, comfortable, something that has good power. I fall in both of those categories. Something that's still capable for what the common Joe wants to do. That is, drive the truck back and forth to work every day as a daily driver, maybe throw the family in, well, let them get in, go drive to the Dairy Queen for a chocolate sundae, maybe go to the Lowe's and pick up some posies and some dirt, you know, a couple bags, nothing extreme. And if you want anything extreme, you go for the full-size truck. So the advent of the mini truck kind of gets rid of the need for a midsize. If you need something big and you really want to haul stuff, you go to a full size, like the Tundra, like the F-150, the Silverado, you name it, there's a bunch of them. If you don't want that, you go to the small, the mini size truck, because it's still capable. A lot of good numbers on the Santa Cruz, by the way. It's a very capable ride. It can haul, it can tow, it can do everything that the average owner is gonna want it to do without buying a giant full-size truck or unfortunately, even a mid-size truck. Anyway, I think there might be some truth to that. I think if the mid-size trucks survive and hold on, there may not be a need for a mid-size Toyota Tacoma, the minis that is, if the minis hold on. We shall see, time will tell, after all, it's always you and I that decide what's gonna survive or not, because if we don't buy it, they're not gonna keep building it. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Is there a need for the Toyota Tacoma anymore? Is the Tacoma being squeezed out of the market? I'd be curious to hear what you have to say. Also, I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks. Currently, the Hyundai Santa Cruz and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. I recently added a Jeep Gladiator Mojave to that channel. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.